Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody asked how they could take this cartoon character and turn it into a line art. And I've worked on it just a little bit. It's pretty easy. First of all, the picture that was brought in was huge, so I made it really little. It's only two inches tall. I have found that Corel can do a lot better on tracing if it doesn't have to do all the extra work. So I'm going to go to bitmap and resample, and it's over. It's at 300, which is fine. I'm going to go to bitmap and convert it to bitmap and leave it a color of 24 bits RGB. I'm going to go to trace bitmap. Yours might be under bitmap, outline trace, and clip art, and I'm going to trace it, taking just a second. And then we're gonna take the new clip art and you can already see the lines. Now I'm gonna select it all and I'm gonna left click, no fill, right click, outline. Now let's zoom in here. And you can see I've taken away the bricks and some other things. He just wanted an outline of it or a, a, a line of it. So we're gonna to go to object and go to group and ungroup all. And then you can just start deleting things and just delete things, and if you'll see something disappear that shouldn't disappear, you can always back up. So I'm just gonna delete a thing. Now, we can't delete this, because look what happens, it takes away part of his head, but we're gonna fix that. We can delete these two things, we can delete possibly that line, we can delete that line, and you're just gonna go through and delete things that don't really need to make the picture. Can't delete that was what's happened. Look what happened. It takes away. And there's the outline of the guy, but he's missing part of his head. So we're going to turn that those two lines into uh, a line. And we're almost done. That's probably pretty good because the rest of them are probably connected. Um, so far, no. Yeah, those are all connected. So now we're going to take our smart fill tool and we're going to take one of these shapes and fill it in and there's our line so there's our object it's already colored in then you could just go and color in these things uh, with your smart fill tools set on black or however you want to do it you could either do it like this or you could color the 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 cuff, the cuff in black and have the holes in white now like i said these lines are connected to the whole thing so let's take an easy one right up here, this one right here. Let's zoom in. Let's go ahead and left click, right click again. And I'm gonna take our shape tool and I'm gonna select these nodes and I'm gonna hit delete. Now you can see there's actually another set of lines. So we're gonna take that line and just hit delete and get rid of them. We've still got his head. Shape tool, once again, we're gonna delete these nodes. So we got rid of that extra line. Now, right here, what you need to do is select those two nodes, right click on your mouse and convert it to a line. Now you could do, there's a lot of things you could do is just delete some of these nodes to get the line kind of more even. Uh, we're gonna, let's do one more like that and then we're gonna fill it in, you're gonna see the difference. So we're gonna take all these nodes and delete them. Take these two nodes, right click your mouse and turn it into a line. It was that easy. Now let's take our smart fill tool and fill that in and now you've got the monster or whatever he is and you could do that to his two feet, you could do it to these, look like some sort of boards behind him. It's the same principle. You don't have to convert it to an outline but I find it's a lot easier uh, and we also have another set of lines there. We can probably delete those. And then just do the same thing we did on this. Just take those two nodes, right click, convert them to a line. Take these two nodes, right click, convert them to a line. Take these two, right click, convert them to a line. Then you can take your smart fill tool and fill in the little little parts here and there. It all depends on what you're gonna do with this guy. Uh, you know, if you want that spot on his shirt, take the smart fill tool and fill these in, fill that in. 
fill in that or or not and fill in this little corner right here. Whoop. Let me zoom here. That must be connected. Doesn't look like it is, but it is. But you can fix that very easily. And then there's some other lines that I think you can just delete that we didn't hit before. Sorry, my calculator is really near the delete pin. And then to make it actually look better, you could take the, sh the smoothing tool or the shape tool and, well, that's way too big, point two five. And you click on the item and just smooth that out. That, to me, is pretty easy. I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.